Chin, we are learning more today about that shooter, Micah Johnson, who Brian talked about. He was an Army veteran. He lived in Mesquite. And CBS 11's Kristen Severance has been there all day for us. And Kristen, we understand he did live with his mother there, correct? He did, Doug. He shared this 4,000 square foot home in Mesquite with his mother. A lot of neighbors I talked to didn't know Johnson, but those who did called him quiet and nervous. Detectives were at Johnson's home Thursday, bringing out bags of evidence and loading them into police cars. At one point, a woman from inside came out and told police to get the media off her property. Neighbors showed up all Friday to get a look at the home where the only dead suspect in Thursday's police shootings lived. Jawanda Alexander had an encounter with Johnson six months ago. She said her daughter passed his home every day to walk to school. She said Johnson came to her door saying her daughter and friends were bothering him as they walked to school and that they messed with his mailbox. It was more like he just had his, you know, head down talking to me. So I took that as him being nervous because he's going to someone's door that he doesn't know about. He is a sniper, okay, so I don't know what ammunition that he had on him. And he could have did anything to me and my daughters at the time. So Alexander told me that Johnson left that day. She didn't see him again. Then she saw that he was the shooter today. She told me that you just never really know who your neighbors are. Live in Mesquite, CBS 11's Kristen Severance. Back to you, Doug.